What they were really trying to do was, in the important elements of Crockett's life, is to convey a little bit of the, the color and the legend uh, along with the storyline that they could move from point A to point B. Uh, we didn't have any, we, we didn't really have anyone on the set. We didn't have any consultants. Uh, Buddy and I did our own stunts. Oh, you did? We had, uh, we had a couple of uh, horses. Uh, there was a white horse and a, and a black horse, and the black horse was kind of like a work horse. So they brought them up and they said, here are the horses, you guys take your pick. And I said, buddy, you take your pick. So buddy took the white horse <laughs> and I got the old flowers. But it was all right, you know, it was all, it worked because, you know, we rode them bareback and uh, uh, different times we, we, we had uh, interesting things, fording streams and things. One funny incident, I, I think it's worth recounting. A lot of people in Tennessee had these beautiful, beautiful, uh, Arabian horses and, and uh, uh, other valuable horses, and they were all invited to, to become part of the picture, to, to uh, be a cavalry element. And um, Norman Foster was a, not a very physical guy, and he didn't understand a lot of things. Uh, the the uh, people had scouted out where the crossing should be, where it was shallow enough that the horses could come through. But he pictorially didn't like that. So he said, no, we're going to move it down that way about 100 yards. So when, when we moved down there, we started to go across. Buddy and I ended up, you know, hanging on to our horse's tail, and, and the horses were swimming, and, and then they were in the mud, and they were lunging. And, you know, it was really a difficult, interesting crossing, but n not exactly what they had in mind. Well, here comes the guys on their fine horses, and they didn't want to come back the next day. I mean, they. They, they had it. Uh, a lot of those things uh, turned out to be dangerous. In working with the Cherokee Indians, they, they kind of felt a, um, a side of this story that they wanted to project. And I remember uh, there was an actor there uh, who I think became a, a, his name was Richard, uh, maybe it'll come to me, but he, he f I fired at him. He was up on a rock. We were around some a river. And when he fell, he, he let his arrow fly, and I was standing right by the camera. And it hit me right above my left eyebrow. It was a rubber tip. Didn't feel good, but if it had been here, I think it had been a different story.